First up, congratulations to students Adam Romano, Wendy Gustafson, and Brooke Prochaska. The Coca-Cola Scholars Foundation just announced Romano is among only 50 gold team academic scholars across the country, and Gustafson is one of just 50 silver team academic scholars. Brooke Prochaska is the only student from Arizona to be named to the National Workforce Scholar Team. Keep an eye on the college social media and your local newspapers for more information coming soon. All three are also among the college's all Arizona academic team members. Seven of the students were honored in a recent statewide ceremony and awarded a tuition waiver so they can each finish their bachelor's degree at any public university in the state. Surgical technology student Brooke Prochaska receives the Workforce Pathway Scholarship. She can use it to finish her associate degree or pay for items she'll need to enter the workforce. I've been very impressed with all you've accomplished and I'm confident that you'll serve as an inspiration for other students around the state. You all have exciting futures ahead of you. The governor also applauded the instructors and leadership at community colleges across the state. You can read much more about each of the MCC All Arizona Academic Team members in the college online newsroom. Just head to the website mojave.edu, scroll down to the news and events section, then click view more and just look for the stories about the team members from each campus. A lot of fun and informative events at the campuses this spring semester. We'll start in Kingman and the Welcome Back Bash events at the Neal Campus and Detroit Avenue Center. Students had the opportunity to learn about all the great clubs they can join and the free services on campus that can help them succeed in college and life. If you'd like to get more involved with campus life, just contact the office of your campus dean of student and community engagement. Another successful year for the dental program's Give Kids a Smile Day. Uninsured children ages 4 to 14 receive free dental services, which include teeth cleaning, fluoride treatment, sealants, and oral hygiene tips. To learn more about becoming a dental assistant or dental hygienist, just head to mojave.edu. In the middle of the page, click Health Sciences and Public Safety, then click either Dental Assisting or Dental Hygiene. The Havasu campus recently hosted an information session highlighting Women's History Month. Uh, kick off to International Women's Day, which is on March 8th. Uh, just as I highlighted in my newsletter, if you have a chance, please reach out to a woman in your life, a female figure who has um, inspired you, and let them know um, and inspire them back. Guest speaker Dr. Michelle Tellez gave a presentation about gender in the borderlands, highlighting the leadership and creative spirit of women from the U.S.-Mexico border who are challenging the global economic policies that shaped their lives. And Dr. Ione mentioned her campus newsletter, which highlights students and events. You can find it in the news and events section on the college website. The Havasu Student Activities Council hosted a Black History Lunch series with guest speakers Dr. Tamika Sanders and Mark Lee. Mr. Lee gave a presentation about stereotypes in the music world, and Dr. Sanders discussed influential black leaders and Black Wall Street. Because black people were forced, because of Jim Crow, to actually have to only do business with themselves, only live in cities where there were only other black people, they really were very genius about coming up with ways of, of sharing businesses, creating businesses, and helping each other. The Bullhead City Police Department and Victim Services Agency helped raise awareness to end domestic violence and sexual assault. It was all part of the No More event hosted by the Bullhead City Campus Student Activities Council. The College Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society's Kingman chapter recently put together care packages for the Cornerstone Mission Homeless Shelter. The packages contained various hygiene items and it's one of the many great ways the Honor Society members give back to their communities throughout the year. And speaking of the PTK, Dr. Klippenstein recently received confirmation from the national organization that the MCC Honor Society chapters from each campus are being honored with the REACH Award for excelling in membership development. The College Computer Club MC4 collected hundreds of pounds of pet food for the no-kill animal shelter, Mutt Matchers. Each year, the club invites students, employees, and community members to donate pet food and play video games at the annual gaming event and pet food drive. 
The college volunteer charity golf team made a good showing at the Mojave Sunrise Rotary Scholarship Fundraiser in Fort Mojave. The MCC team actually finished third in its bracket and donated the winnings to scholarships. In all, the event raised approximately $20,000 for college scholarships. Stay up to date with college news and events at the Mojave Wire, your college email, and social media where the college handle is Mojave CC. If you have a story idea or you'd like to receive news updates, just email the newsroom at mcc at mojave.edu.